I guess like the one thing I would say, part of what attracted me to the script, I think, is just that I, at the time when, it, when we did it, I had lived my entire life in New York except for two quick years um, over in London. So it just had, um, it just had the ring of truth to it. It was a real opportunity in a couple of ways. I mean, one, you know, was that I thought it was a great script. It was really well written, really interesting, and very, you know, um, artsy and character driven in the way that appealed to me. You know, that was that's also why Room Three Fourteen appealed to me. But it was also a chance to like work with a bunch of people. You know, because it's fifteen characters that all have like meaty roles. I think there's a school of thought that thinks that really good acting is showing huge amounts of emotion. Like, let's say, like you know. Sally Field in, in uh, what is it, Steel Magnolias, like screaming at the top of her lungs about Shelby and whatever is good acting. That to me is not always the case. I think the kind of acting that we have at one night where people are really bringing something of themselves to a character and letting it sort of happen very organically, that's the kind of acting that really appeals to me. It's not the easiest film to you know, sum up the entire experience in a couple of words or a couple of lines. Well, I mean, Magnolia obviously comes to mind, um, you know, as far as the number of characters and the sort of um, equality in the screen time and the roles. Um, that's one of the few, I mean, structurally, I would say Crash. Right, um, well, you know, in some ways, I think, uh, <laughs> it's like a lot of um, projects that you get involved where, you know, sometimes not knowing what you're doing is a little bit of a blessing. <laughs> because we had no idea, I think, the, um, the magnitude of work that we were getting into where we were like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll do this for no money and we'll find all the locations ourselves and, you know, we'll... I mean, we had a casting director, but other than that, as far as um, as far as help on the on the pre-production side, I think that's pretty much it. The one thing I will say is it was nice not to have to worry about raising the money. That that took a lot of pressure off. But at the same time, we were you know sort of spending our own money, so we wanted to do a good job with that. I think. Um, but I think just uh, you know. I only remember, you know, really take away like very positive stuff from it, even though I, I barely slept through the whole production. <laughs> like, um, I mean, the casting was so much fun, you know. It, it was kind of eye-opening um, how much those people want to work. <laughs> as long as the actors were comfortable at that pace and we were getting all the footage we needed, I think it's... I'm proud that we did it in 12 days. <laughs> you know, it's like, people could look at that and be like, wow, you shot it in 12 days. You, you know, how'd you do that? It's like, well, we worked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with the crew was, was great too. I mean, that was again, um, I think, just really feeling like that, that sense of community and that feeling that everyone was there um, for the same thing was, was great. I mean, Abby always sticks out to me as like, you know, that's like girl with, you know, this is hidden big heart who just is like, you're hard to watch, you know, <laughs> like it's at points, but, uh, and I like the contrast too between her and um, Wendy, Melissa's character, because, you know, the moment where Wendy's watching her and, you know, she's feeling all sympathetic toward her, I think, you know, that's how, hopefully how a lot of people feel at that point, you know, even though I don't think I don't think Abby covers herself in glory the way she behaves a lot of the time, but at the same time, I think you can, you know, Marissa really brought something special to it, and I think, uh, you know, you, you really feel for her. Larry is just like, you gotta laugh, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah as I often do. Um, Emily, even though she's doing things that I think she knows maybe are not great for her, you think that she's going to be okay, I think. I mean, I've known a lot of, I've known a lot of Leroy's. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, sometimes they never change. 
the script matter so much, and I would um, I would just encourage any producer, um, even if you, know, you don't think you know script writing or, or you know even analysis is your forte, I would encourage you to like I would encourage them to like make it your forte, like read a lot of scripts and just see like what works for you. Don't take it on faith that you have to spend money just because someone else tells you to. I think like as we go forward in independent film, that's gonna be paramount. Um, you just won't, you won't make your money back.